So this is problem 6 on uh, resolution and composition of forces. So go through the problem. <coughs> uh, 26 kN is the resultant of uh, the two forces. The resultant. So 26 kN is the resultant of two forces. One of which is as shown in figure. Means 10 kN is one of the two forces. Determine the other force. We have to determine the other force. Okay. So I have to give the resultant force of 26 kN. Okay. So other force is not given in the problem. Uh, let us assume force P as the other force. Let P be the other force which makes an angle theta with the x axis. Okay. So we have to determine this force P and its inclination theta. Okay. And 26 kilonewton is the resultant of uh, two forces P and 10 kilonewton. Okay. So we have to determine magnitude of P such a way that the resultant of both force P and 10 kN is 26 kN. Okay. Now here uh, for 10 kN force and uh, 26 kN force means resultant force the angle is not given but uh, uh, the slopes values are given. Okay. Opposite side length and adjacent side length is given for both the forces. So using those slopes uh, you can find the angle uh, theta 1 and theta 2. Okay. So initially you find angle theta 1 and theta 2 from figure from figure theta 1 is equal to so here here will be theta 1 here will be theta 2 theta 2 so theta 1 is equal to tan inverse of 12 by 5 okay tan inverse of 12 by 5 the answer is 67.38 degree okay so inclination of the resultant force is 67.38 degree okay similarly theta 2 is equal to tan inverse of 3 by 4 which is equal to 36.87 degree Okay, 36.87 degree. Now we can write the components for all the inclined forces. For 10 kN force, the angle is theta 2 36.87 degree. So horizontal component is 10 cos 36.87 and vertical component is 10 sin 36.87. Okay. Similarly, for force P, horizontal component is horizontal component is P cos theta and vertical component is P sin theta. Okay. For resultant force, uh, uh, no need to write the components. We will uh, uh, write it later in the uh, solution part. Okay. <coughs> Now, uh, resultant 26 kN is making an angle uh, theta 1 that is 67.38 degree with the x axis. So, it belongs to, belongs to node number 1 means case 1. Okay. So, if resultant makes an angle theta with the x axis, we have two conditions sigma f x equal to r cos theta and sigma f equal to r sin theta. So, we will utilize both the conditions. So, resultant force. Resultant force R is equal to 26 kilonewton and its inclination is how much? 67.38 degree. Sixty-seven point three eight degree. So 
therefore sigma fx is equal to or cos theta is equal to 26 cos 36.38 okay therefore sigma fx is equal to how much you will get it as 10 kN similarly we have one more condition that is sigma fi equal to r sin theta r sin theta where 26 sin 67.38 degree the answer for this one is 24 kN 24 kN therefore we have two conditions sigma fx is equal to sigma fx is equal to 10 kN and sigma fi is equal to how much 24 kN okay now we will take uh, both the conditions individually and we will find sigma fx and sigma fi using system of forces which are the system of forces here force p and 10 kN okay now I will take this uh, first condition sigma fx is equal to 10 kN for taking sigma fx is equal to 10 kN now you find sigma fx sum of forces in extension using system of forces so force p and 10 kN are the system of forces okay sum of forces in x direction is plus p cos theta p cos theta is acting in right direction so sin is plus plus p cos theta then sigma uh, one more uh, force 10 cos 36.87 acting in right direction sin is plus 10 cos 36.87 is equal to 10 is equal to 10 so by this you will get the value of p cos theta P cos theta is equal to, you will get it as 2. 2. Call this as equation number 1. Then take the second condition now. Sigma f i is equal to 24 kilonewton. Sigma f i is equal to 24 kilonewton. Find the sigma f i using system of forces. By, that is by using force P and 10 kilonewton. P sin theta acting in upward direction. So plus P sin theta plus P sin theta and 10 sin 36.87 it is also upward sin is plus 10 sin 36.87 is equal to 24 by this you will get the value of P sin theta which is equal to 18 is equal to 18 call it as equation number 2 now squaring and adding equation 1 and 2 squaring and adding equation 1 and 2 we get p square cos square theta plus p square sin square theta is equal to 2 square plus 18 square if you take p square common in the bracket you will get sin square theta plus cos square theta the value of which is 1 which is equal to 328 p square is equal to 328 taking square root on both sides p is equal to 18.11 kN ok now you got magnitude of force p to get angle theta equation 2 divided by equation 1 equation 2 divided by equation 1 gives p sin theta divided by p cos theta is equal to p sin theta is 18 p cos theta is 2 18 by 2 18 by 2 p gets cancelled tan theta is equal to 9 theta is equal to tan inverse of 9 therefore angle theta is equal to 83.66 degree so for this we got magnitude of force p and angle theta okay so this completes the problem thank you